New tonight, polls along the beach, these ones right here. Well, they're raising some questions. They're popping up along a stretch of a beach in Brevard County. Yeah, and you may be wondering, what yeah. are they? Well, we took the question that you're asking and found out more will be popping up. Fox 35's Esther Bauer explains these polls are actually conducting research. Hidden in the dunes, they're easy to miss. Metal poles popping out along the beach walk at High Tower Park in Satellite Beach. Dr. Stephen Lazarus is a Florida Tech meteorology professor installing the new National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration project. The new equipment isn't a camera like some people have asked, but it is technology for local researchers. What these radars measure is basically currents moving away or toward the radar. Being able to read and understand the current in the ocean has a lot of safety benefits for boaters. And if they're drifting, then in theory we can uh, better pinpoint where they where they went and where they're heading. Here's how it works. These four transmitters will send out a signal to read the current in the ocean. That data is then transmitted to these 12 receivers before popping up on a computer which will be stored in the shed. And that backscatter signal from the transmit basically tell you something about the flow of the surface water towards or away from the antenna. The radar will also give insight when seaweed is coming to shore. No folks can actually put the current data that comes from the radars into a model and try to forecast basically uh, movement of the sargassum. And when it comes to rocket launches. Booster rocket recovery, right? If it falls into the water, where is it going to drift? The system in Brevard County is paired with another in Indian River County. At that sweet spot, you can get current information. So you have to have both radars. Installation is expected to finish next Next month, and the data from the radars will be available for the public to access on their own. On the Space Coast, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News.